Okay, this is AI First Engineering. Uh, we're doing deep learning for um, health and medicine. And um, here we just have a little module which is taken from Business Insider Intelligence on what people think the virus will impact will have on business and in particular on uh, some in technology and other things of relevance to, to, to this course. But we're trying in this particular set of lessons to understand the virus and what we can do about it. Here is the sad picture of an empty uh, hospital ward. This was done in March, although some of the surveys must have been before then. And they're probably not as pessimistic as they ought to be. Still, they, they have useful information. Here we have the sad picture of uh, empty, empty areas. When this reopens, maybe this table will have fewer seats to get more social distancing. These tables are already possibly far enough apart. And hopefully the nightlife will actually recover. Let's hope so. Um, here is a, a plot of the uh, industrial output, which of course is uh, drastically decreased here, minus 15%. And um, the uh, this is for China, which of course China has now recovered. It now has the problem, and it doesn't. It can make things, but it's not quite clear. Um, who can buy it because this world is a globally connected world and you can't have e any one part of it offline because there's a trail of, inf of activity going from A to B through C and D and E. So that's not so good. Here is a survey asking if we're going to have a recession and it essentially everybody says we'll have a recession. Only 1% said it was not likely. And then it comes to severity, people still are optimistic, it is moderate. Um, and uh, there's of course, all these things have technical definitions in terms of percentages. And on the next slide, we have that defined. Here we have a moderate recession in 73 to 75, which was 1%. Um, here you have a uh, the recession of 2008, which was a severe recession. And uh, you can see here the typical, this is the uh, US uh, GDP growth. And um, it's interesting, actually the one that affected me the most, the 2001, which I thought was pretty severe, was only mild. That's interesting, because this was the time all the dot coms crashed, which I, I was more associated with. But it's interesting, the overall impact of that was modest. If they look at what the impact uh, is, uh, it's actually a bit surprising. They think travel is the most important. I would say that's not the most important. I would think uh, reduced consumer consumption, factory closures, these are all more important. Supply chain. Because if anything closes, well, the difference between quarantine effects and supply chain shortages is slightly nebulous because one begets the other. So, um, anyway, it's uh, there. All these, all these interrelated effects have an, are important. Okay, so this is the same data, but uh, highlights not the top one, which was limited travel, but probably the more important ones, which. Uh, uh, which are these ones marked here. But of course, as I say, all of these are sort of the same. They're just the impact, and you can't get one of them without the other. So it's not quite certain what you should be worried about. What you're worried about is, I would say it's the lockdowns. The lockdowns, that's the quarantine. That gives you the supply chain shortage because factories are closed, etc. cetera. Um, so, of course, for, it doesn't take a genius to decide that um, uh, consumer brick and mortar spending will go down, which 88% of the people say. The overall spending will go down. Uh, wholesale spending will go down. And e-commerce 
will actually go up. But that's not so obvious um, because e-commerce e in the terms of uh, Uber Eats and uh, grocery deliveries will go up, but I'm not so certain it will go up for other things. People are going to be pretty careful due to the lack of money. Um, so which are, which are the, um, here are some obvious things that are going to get enhanced. Watching digital streaming media is going to go up. Consuming news, well, of course you should say news and fake news. Watching TV, finally, a dying area that's going to go up. Shopping online is going to go up. Not so certain. I guess it, it, the fraction of shopping online will go up, but whether the raw total volume will is not. Um, of course, here we're looking at marketing and advertising people. Well, we actually had some earlier slides which said advertising is going down. And um, well, no, there's only 6% who expect to increase their spending. And they're either on no, the, the, the majority are, uh, there is a healthy majority which is actually uh, going to decrease. So the, the marketing budget will go down. Now the only issue is how it gets distributed, because it will certainly not get distributed for billboards and things like that, which will not get seen anytime soon. Um, well, here we come back to our favorite um, uh, plot of what, what's going to happen, and now we're looking at supply chain things, which is obviously very important. You need a healthy supply chain to have a viable global business. So here they're looking at the industries which will be impacted by supply chains and uh, the connectivity technology and software sectors. And the, uh, there is obviously, um, up to, the, given when this thing was taken and sometime in March, uh, there's some which have no effect, others which have my, the majority, the, the trend is this way, to things being bad, things getting worse, and maybe there's a recovery six months from now. But still bad. And of course, there is negative impact. There's only, well, there's 10% of the companies have some positive impact. So that's, that's at least not so bad. And uh, there's a lot, most of them have some variant amount of negative impact. And of course, it's going to get worse. And again, still, we have this actually now 11% positive, and there's a huge number expected to be a large negative impact. So that's of course the problem. And now we have the final slide, which just lists the, where the people they, they surveyed come from. There's quite a lot in IT. It's a pretty broad range of people with IT and software having a healthy um, representation. Um, and you'd have to add up all these subcategories. Education, 4%. Anyway, this is, I don't think there's any conclusion here, which is terribly surprising. It just documents what you, what's going to happen. There's going to be a problem. Okay, thank you very much.